Well, thanks everyone for joining us. Uh, I've got POC Steelers fullback with, with me, uh, Luturu Lalala. Lou, congratulations, mate. Um, first Father's Day. And we've got Aaliyah, your, your uh, baby daughter there with you. Um, mate, what's what's Father's Day sort of mean to you for, for the very first time? Um, for me, it's... Um... It's gonna be something. It's gonna be something different. Um, but um, yeah, it's gonna mean the world to me, especially with this one. Um, she's been a real blessing to, um, to me and my partner. Um, and yeah, so it's gonna be pretty exciting. Hopefully, I get some gifts on that day too. <laughs> Mate, um, obviously this lockdown not ideal. We'd, we'd obviously like to be talking about playing footy and and uh, the NPC, but I, I guess from from your point of view, a, a little bit of a blessing in disguise. The the silver lining there is you get to spend um, some really good quality time with your daughter. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. It's been a blessing in disguise, uh, especially spending time with our baby baby Alaya. Um, but at the same time, real real gutted that we can't be out there playing as well. Um, and trying to make her proud as well. So, uh, yeah, it's definitely, um, it's definitely kind of a, a blessing and a, and a curse at the same time having this lockdown. Yeah, I mean, like, just talk us through what's what's a day look like for you? You able to train? You're still doing? We talked to Jared Halliday last week, and yeah, you know, he sort of gave us a little bit of an insight that you sort of do a little bit on your own, and you have some um, Zoom catch ups and, and whatnot. Um, but in between times, is it very much just family time? Yeah, uh, well, usually, well, first thing when I wake up, um, well, brush up, get ready, um, and then uh, wait for her to wake up, and then just hang out for a little bit, then I'll go do some chores around the house, uh, just to keep active as well, so, uh, and then make some food for the family at lunchtime, and then I shoot off and um, I do my training around just after midday, and then I get back, and then how about my partner with some cooking for dinner and then just yeah pretty much just relax like every everyone else's yeah it probably sounds like it's uh it's cruising but i'm sure there's a lot of work involved on the domestic front there mate um you're a couple of years removed from from a, a serious knee injury the acl uh, it obviously impacts every player differently you rely so much on your footwork and your explosiveness uh, you're sort of back to 100% with that like it's not just a case of being healthy but having that explosiveness that was such a part of your game I thought we saw signs last year during the, the MPC that you, you were getting that explosiveness back is, is that fair? Yeah, uh, I'll probably say I'm around about 90% there um, if I was to be honest the doctor said they will never be the same anymore uh, my knee will never be the same um, because there was a full knee recon, so um, it was quite a major, major injury. Um, I was lucky enough to be able to even come back and play because um, I had a really slim chance of actually being able to play again. Um, but the doctor said if I put in the hard work and have faith in myself, um, for example, like Nipple, because he did exactly the same thing, he had a full knee recon, and he just came back and just killed it. So I thought if he could do it, why couldn't I? So, um, uh, so I've just been chipping away and trying to work, um, work on my footwork, my agility, like you've been talking about. Because of course, it's as a fullback you're gonna need those, and um, I'm just slowly trying to work my way, my way <coughs> about it, um, and trying to improve um, oh, every week. But um, I just gotta make do with what I got, I guess, um, and just use it to the best of my abilities. Does that sort of, I mean, it's, it, that must be a, you know, heck of an experience to go through at a young age, you know, your very promising career, early early part of it when you when you suffer that injury. Um, does it sort of make you feel um, grateful for for the opportunities you, you do have that life and footy can be, you know, it's mm. it's so, such a, a fickle thing that, you know, just like that one little injury and everything can change. Is it, is it? Need to be able to still be a professional footy player after going through something like that. Um, yeah, definitely, it's um, it's a real eye opener um, for me. Uh, I didn't really test get tested physically um, trying to get back, but it was more the mental side of trying to get back. Um, I would be lying if I said uh, it was uh, it was a breeze coming through it, going through it, but 
it was definitely it was definitely pretty dark um especially in the early the early stages of um, my knee recovery um but like you said it really opened my eyes to be real grateful for um the opportunities that I'm getting right now um that's why I'm so um so grateful the counties for giving me this chance for taking the risk on me to um, actually select me and uh, let me play um, for the team because I love this team so much so um yeah um never never taking anything for granted anymore um because your career could just end just like that so um, I try and play every game as if it's my last now um because you never know what could happen the next day so yeah yeah. Well, fingers crossed, mate. You, you threw the worst of the the injury run, and yeah. and you have a little bit of uh, light at the end of the tunnel with with all of that. Um, mate, you, you touched on Nepal there. Obviously, away with uh, the All Blacks um, for the rugby championship. I mean, how much contact do you sort of have with him? Do you talk to him while he's away? Um, you obviously, follow his his progress and that. Um, you know, and how much of influence I guess has he been on on your career? Oh, he's been um, he's been a massive influence for me, um, especially during, especially when I went through my uh, my injury. Um, he was um, probably my biggest help, one of my biggest help. My I'd say my partner was my my ultimate. Oh, it was there by my side, but Nepal really helped me through that. I guess just teaching me uh, mentally and physically how to get through it, um, and also yeah, we definitely keep in contact. Um, during during the week, throughout the week, um, especially on a game day, uh, we'll, we'll always message each other, say good luck and all the best. Just make sure you do your best and da 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 da. And then um, after the game, we'll con- congratulate each other and just, I guess, give tips on whether we did well, what we did wrong, and and, and whatnot. So, yeah. Awesome. Well, mate, you guys are, are doing uh, our region proud, and uh, let's fingers crossed we get to see you back on the park in, in uh, the not too distant future. But mate, enjoy Father's Day, enjoy your first one, and um, spend plenty of time with the layer in the in the interim. Cheers. Thank you very much. You have a good one, eh?